This is a brief introduction to raw power as a photos extension. If you're using macOS Mojave or just want to stay entirely within photos, then the raw power photos extension is the way to go. There's a separate video that talks about the standalone app interface, both for browsing files or the photo library, as well as a bunch of other videos that go into detail on specific features. When using the photos extension, start by picking an image in photos to edit. Then, Click the button with the three dots. That will display the extensions installed in your machine. If you do not see raw power, then choose the manage button. In our case, raw power is listed right here. When you pick raw power, the photos editing interface will be replaced by the raw power editing interface. The top row contains tools. The first two are for rotation and flip. The third is for the Show Original button, which views the image without adjustments applied. If you want detailed shot information, use the Photos Info window, which you can access by pressing Command-I. The last buttons are for zoom, although you can also zoom by pressing the Z key, double-clicking, or pinching with a trackpad. To save some time, I have adjusted this image using raw power so you can see some of the features in action. Below the tools, are pop-up menus to let you add additional adjustments or pick presets. The histogram is below that. You can close the histogram by clicking the disclosure triangle. The circles next to the word histogram are clipping indicators. They tell you if the image is overexposed or clipped. You can click on the buttons to see an overlay of the overexposed areas. The raw power adjustments are displayed in the list below. There are checkboxes next to each adjustment. Those checkboxes can be used to turn on and off individual adjustments so you can see the effect of that adjustment on the image as a whole. For example, I can turn on and off the adjustment which applies changes to the raw decode. As I mentioned before, the Show Original button will show you the image without any adjustments applied to it. You can also use the M key. You don't have to click the checkbox to start editing an adjustment. Just move the slider and it will start working. For example, I can just drag the sharpen slider and you can see the image sharpening. The circle with the three dots next to the title in each adjustment is a menu that provides you additional options. For example, you can reset an adjustment back to its defaults or manage the default set of adjustments. The default set of adjustments is the basic set of adjustments that appears on each image for you to edit with. You can decide which adjustments you want to start with so your panel is not filled with all of the adjustments raw power provides. You can also rearrange the adjustments to put them in the order that you like to use when going through an image step by step. Here I'm just going to reset the black and white adjustment which returns the image back to color. You can use command Z to undo as well or you can use the undo menu in photos. When you're finished, click the Save Changes button. All edits in raw power are non-destructive. That means the editing information is stored in the photo library separate from the original, and your original is not touched. You can go back to the image later and continue editing without any loss of quality. So if I pick the extension again, it comes up and all the sliders are back in their previous positions. However, if you edit an image with two extensions or with photos and raw power, then you may have a decrease in quality, especially with RAWs. Raw power will try to alert you to those situations, especially for RAWs. This image here is a RAW, as you can see from the info in Photos. But it was edited previously in Photos. You can tell that because there is a Revert to Original button at the top of the screen. However, when I go into raw power, two things will be different. First, there's a yellow warning triangle. You can click on it to get more information. But basically, the yellow triangle is telling you that this image is either a raw that was edited outside of raw power, such as photos or another extension, or it's simply not a raw image. If it's not a raw, you can edit it with all of the adjustments present in raw power except the raw processing adjustment but the yellow triangle is there to help alert you specifically to the case of RAWs. Images edited by photos or other extensions are sent to raw power as JPEGs. 
As a result, raw power cannot differentiate between a JPEG original and a JPEG made from an edited raw. If you want to get full raw quality, then you will need to revert the image in photos and go back into raw power. We'll do this by clicking the cancel button here and then clicking the revert to original button in photos. Now when we go back into raw power, the yellow triangle has disappeared and the raw processing brick has reappeared. So now we're working on the actual raw file. As I mentioned, there are other videos that cover some of the adjustments in more detail to give you more of a background on the entire feature set of raw power. Thank you for watching this brief introduction of raw power as a photos extension.